<laughs> but you can imagine a Bluetooth <laughs> HomeKit door lock on your front door, right? Mm -hmm. And now I happen to be upstairs in the bedroom and I want to unlock my front door because my kid has come home late. Somebody's come, the dog walkers come, whatever it is. And I want to open the front door. Ooh, but wait, guess what? The bedroom and the front door are too far apart. Too they far can't away. talk to each other. Yeah. And now the question is, how do I solve that? Well, I can move closer to the door lock. But then I may as well open it manually. <laughs> exactly. But because Bluetooth isn't a network, there is no uh, repeater, there is no router, there is no additional devices or things I can put between me and the front door to make that experience better. We need something beyond Bluetooth to make this in-home networking experience for IoT better. We need to be able to have a HomePod, for example, sitting between me and the bedroom on my iPhone and the door lock. And hey, now they're all thread, they're all meshed together. My request to open the door jumps to the HomePod, the HomePod jumps to the front door, great. I've got a Nest Protect sitting somewhere between those. I can jump from my phone to the Nest Protect, to the HomePod, to the front door. And so I, again, think Thread was a natural way for them to expand HomeKit and sort of solve some of those customer experience problems that yeah. I imagine they were having. And again, HomeKit already worked over IP because they had a cloud component of HomeKit. And so for them to adapt uh, that HomeKit over the cloud component to Thread was, I suspect, a pretty easy um, exercise for them to do.